Hey everyone, PV here and welcome to today's YouTube video. In today's video we're going to be playing Yuta Takahashi's Blue Red Dragons deck. At the time of recording this video, Yuta is in the top 4 of the World Championship and he's won his first match. So he's, you know, not in the finals because of the structure of the tournament, but somewhere around the finals effectively. And he might as well just win the whole thing when all is said and done, right? We don't know and the, the title of the video will, will change accordingly, but the gameplay certainly won't. And Yuta went 7-0 before that. So if you count his uh, top four matches, 8-0 with the deck. So this is already, even if he doesn't win, the best performing deck in the World Championship. Though it was only him, the simple size is small. But you know, it's definitely a very powerful deck. And whether he wins or gets second or third, his um, his campaign over the cross of the tournament with this deck has certainly been incredible. So we're going to take it for a spin. And this deck is, I guess I should show you the deck a little bit more. It's pretty straightforward. It is just a blue-red control deck that like kills with dragons and Aurons of Biffany, right? You, if you follow standard, you're probably familiar with it, if not this specific build. So we can talk a little bit more about the deck as as the, the games go. Uh, but yeah, it's basically a bunch of removal, some counter spells for the Biffany decks, some bounce, some card drawing. Uh, and then the dragons, both the Ag and Ghostplan Dragon to kill your opponent, and the Epiphany to go over the top of people. This hand is kind of bad. Um, I don't have red mana, and, you know, even though I have, I, I'm, I can deal with creatures and I can deal with spells, I'm not really getting anywhere, so I think I should mulligan this hand. This hand is much better. And this is the kind of hand where I would really like to know what I'm playing against <laughs> to, to be able to decide which cards to keep. Right, because it's possible that Dissipate is going to be one of my best cards, it's possible it's going to be not good. I think I should probably ditch the iter one iteration. Though I did Mulligan, so it is good to have more iterations. I might honestly just ditch... Let's think, because I'm on the play, I can go like 2, 3, 4, so that's like a pretty strong curve. But if they don't play anything on turn 2, then I'm never going to get to cast this Dissipate. Because I'll do our disruption to turn three play. Yeah, I think I'm gonna bend the dissipate, but this could certainly be a mistake uh, because I don't know what my opponent's playing, right? And here you you never lead with mountain because uh, there's the does narrow in the deck, so it's uh, you really uh, want to keep the at least one basic in your hand if possible. Like here, it's better to just play the pathway. Because then if I hit this Gnarl, I can get an untapped mana. I don't want to play the duration in turn 2 because, you know, obviously I would rather be able to play a land off of that. Yeah, I'm just gonna counter this Zag. Looks like we're playing the Mirror here. Uh, Rebuke is good versus the Ag and Goldspan Dragon. Iteration is obviously just a, a more powerful card, right? The question is... How much removal do I actually want? I'm certainly exiling the pathway here, right? Because I can play it immediately. I think I'm going to put the removal spell in my hand. Like, we're getting to the point where iteration is not that important again, because, I mean, I already have two and... Like, this, I have enough lands at this point, right? Iteration is really good if you're trying to find lands. So should I just play Iteration again? I probably should. There's no 4 that I really need to counter. And I do have Negate up if I need to. Okay, I think I want the Memory Deluge in my hand. Uh, do I want to play this Stepped or Untapped? Mocha! Play this Stepped or Untapped? Obviously tap would give something away. I don't know what I want to negate here. I don't think I really want to negate anything. I'm just gonna play it tapped. Like, the three life could matter, and then playing it untapped is gonna tip them that something's up. Like, there's no threat here. Like, what are they gonna do? Prismari command me, then sack, play a dragon attack? Then I have rebuke plus negate. So, like, I have a good follow up to that. Yeah, if they're playing the same deck as me, they have one Prismary Command in it. 
Yeah, and I just have to hope they don't have two answers. Should not be very easy. I guess they could also just have another dragon, but... I'm gonna play a land so I can pay for disruption. So bad. It's gonna be kind of awkward if they just attack and play another dragon, but I did get rid of two treasures. They had a blue mana up, they could have just bounced it, which would have been pretty annoying to get a treasure to get to play the dragon, but they didn't have the bounce. So. Alright, so we're going, probably just gonna Shatter Skull Smashing, but we're in danger of dying to this Hall of Storm Giants over here. I guess we could divide by zero now. Then if they have something, it's gonna be a problem. Like, I could go Dragon Divide by zero. I could just kill it, but... Like, what if they just attack with their Hall of Storm Giants twice? How do I beat that? But I don't really have a great plan. I think I just have to shoot it. Oh, wait. Like, I don't really know how I'm going to win this game if they just decide to attack with their own. Okay, so they have... Ugh, that's even worse. So they're not playing the same deck as me because people only play one side. Utah only played one side. So it's a little bit different, but same concept. Yeah, I'm pretty dead here, I think. If it wasn't for that Hall of Storm Giants, I would feel okay. But I really cannot beat that card. Like, being down so much on life. Now I guess I have to go gold span divide by zero. And I try to attack. I just have to hope they have nothing. And then I can play the mascot exhibition and double block the thing. Like I think it's the only way I win. I should probably just play this. I mean, can I have to do this? They're gonna get a dragon. Oh, sorry, a token. Yeah, I'm just dead here. They just have lethal, if I bounce or not. Okay. I'm playing Gold Spun Dragon first. Really strong. Uh, what do I not want? Yeah, I think I want all the things that deal for damage. I probably don't want the bounce spell. I feel like bouncing my own dragon is not that bad. Maybe I don't want the divide by zero. Divide by zero is pretty strong. This is 65 though. I have to take out some stuff. I don't think Prismari Command is good if I'm not killing a thing. I mean, it was good for my opponent, but it was a very specific situation. I can take out one Epiphany, I think, versus this blue decks. Like, the other one has the Hermits and the Gates and stuff. I think the Vibe by Zero is up. It's really not that great. But the people do have the Egg. I have a lot of removal for those. I'm gonna take them out. Maybe I'll take out one other Epiphany too. Just keep one in my deck to keep things honest. Yeah, I don't know if this is the best way to sideboard, but it makes sense in my mind, so. Plus, I didn't want to dissipate. It's tricky trying to find a balance between like the permits and, and stuff. I just want to play the Aggie here, right? Not the side coming. Do I want to foretell this? I think I probably do. It is awkward with the Ag, but... Like, it is so good at the dragons that I think I have to do it. Because the egg, it, it cares about how much you paid. 
right? And in this case, I paid. Uh, I'll pay two if I for Talon three if I don't. But I think I was gonna test of Talon's anything. I really want to look at their hand. I don't mind if they try to play a dragon because I have to dissipate. That's like, I mean, but I think I should just do this. Like, knowing what they have is very valuable. They have four Prismarian Command, so maybe I should have my own Prismarian Command. What is this? Inferno of Star Mounts? How do I beat that? Okay, they don't have any Hermits then. So good news is I can just play my Dragon if I draw a land. They don't have an answer. Not draw a land. I get to play this and, and counter their Dragon with Sonic coming. Mm, annoying. So I'm not gonna try to counter dad. Oh no, I hate those gnarls so much. I'm gonna attack. Attacking was kind of bad. Uh, if they played a spell and turned it into a 4 4, that would not have worked out well for me. Alright, this is about the. Well, they can play Dragon Plus something here, but. I think I just have to go for this, or right, what am I gonna do? Wait, wait until they just flip this? Well, that's probably game. Yeah, I'm pretty dead here. Not drawing a land on turn 5 and then drawing a tap land just really ruined my game. Now they play dragon and like, even if I counter it, they get to shoot stuff. Well, let's see. Let's see what happens here. I mean, if I go rebuke dissipate, I have the Hermit. But if I play Rebuke and Dissipate... I guess I should just play the Dragon. Yeah, I'm not actually pretty dead, I lied. Play the Dragon, I Rebuke, and I have the Hermit. Then I have to hope they don't draw anything. Like I could just rebuke and keep all my counter spells up. No, because they can counter twice. So I can't do this. I have to just play the rebuke. They're gonna shoot my egg. Oh, this is not good. They should not have done this. They should have shot the egg. What, they didn't counter it? Because they didn't want this to turn on, I guess. I mean, I might as well just play this, right? Because they have enough to counter it back, to play anything and counter it back, so I might as well just do this. I'm very confused about what happened, but if they have something like Epiphany, then like it could just it just lights out, right? Because they have they keep the counter back up. They probably didn't want me to flip the, this with dissipate. Now they can't counter my spells anymore, so that's good. 
I imagine they can have a three mana spell, or do they just flip it? Wait, what? This is crazy, why didn't they just... attack? Well, I am pretty dead. Anyway, but... We will... We will continue. So now, yeah, I can sight coming, but they have the best of talents. All right, GG's. All right, I hope you enjoyed this, even though we lost. Uh, <laughs> I think this deck is pretty good, so I definitely do recommend it moving forward. Uh, I think Blue Red in general, Blue Red is probably the best deck. I don't know which version of it, if just the Epiphany combo or the Dragons version, they're good or bad versus different matchups. Uh, and then Mono Green is probably second, but yeah, this is definitely a very strong deck that I think you 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 can, can't really go wrong playing. If you like my work and want to support me a little bit more, make sure to check out my Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash pvdr, and you can get some extra perks while supporting my work in there. And special thank you to my biggest supporters, Adam Racing, Adrian Camilleri, Foxy, Fernando Vizeu, uh, Jian Jian, Igor Petrov, Joey, uh, Juan Chao, Kelvin Peng, Kevin Massey, Lawson, Mattia Giorgini, Nate, Silvia Leticia, Thomas Bocorni, Dimitri. Uh, I really appreciate the support, and I'll see you next video.